hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will discuss another important topic in power automate college pro checker pro checker is a concept uh, is a option available for uh, power automate to check whether everything is everything is okay uh, in your power automate steps as in power automate step we can have multiple steps like triggers as in this flow this is the trigger and uh, this is the action so uh, there might be many uh, you know uh, issues that may happen in this uh, construction in this uh, flow construction like in the two field for example if you mention something like this and uh, let's say xyz at the rate gmail.com and you just uh, go outside of the flow then this, this is the error okay if you click on the flow checker it will check that two address is required you can see here this is uh, giving error now when you click that it is pointing to this now you have to understand what is the problem i have given my user id user, uh, user email properly right but still i am uh, having issue so what is the issue now i have given the correct one then i will again click on the project or it is still telling that two addresses two address is required now the problem is whenever you give email id you have to after uh, after uh, the last uh, last word you have to uh, click enter so that it will resolve your email id and once you click the flow checker it will give no errors and no warnings now the point here is using flow checker uh, you can um, analyze what are the available errors in your flow as this is a simple flow you cannot identify more errors but if you are using many dynamic fields for example i want to do some dynamic field here uh, let me use uh, uh, expression and i want to use let's say text and inside that i want to use dynamic content last name then instead of text i will use something else t e x t t so this is a error right now if i'll click on this pro checker it will check that there is no error but uh, it is dynamically throw error it will throw error dynamically so whenever you mention something like this you have to properly follow the uh, dynamic uh, expressions so you have to go down and check your correct values now the point here is using flow checker you can check your flow to identify if there is any potential error or not okay that's why this flow checker is there okay so this is a feature of microsoft power automate you can use it while developing power automate so thank you